fair warning, I am now recording. Oh, okay. We can go ahead I'll and keep start talking. talking no, about no. All my credit card information. Yeah, right. <laughs> my social security <laughs> number is one two three four five. <laughs> Um, oh. Yeah, I mean, D and D Fourth Edition was. I see that its major value was accessibility for people who had a hard time with D and D. Well, and uh, it was all about that tactical battle, man. Like they had that system on lock. Whereas like before you didn't really have to do it that way. Like you could do combat just narratively. I felt in 3.5 cause that seemed to be how combat was handled whenever we had a, a, a DM running a 3.5 D and D. And then as soon as you went to fourth, everything was described in terms of doing the battle grid. Uh, hmm. See, well, I actually come to think of it. My first time playing D&D 3rd Edition, the guy was very narrative. Like, he still made you run your stats, but it was very narrative. Yeah, that so, was my yeah. experience with 3.5, too. It was all very narrative. But in 4th Edition... I think that really to, like, comes down to the DM. That's that's true, too. But the rule set... In Slide down to D? Like, very much like... Because we tried to run it narratively, and it was harder because every power was like, oh, and you shift a unit over here. And so right. then you have to, like, remember that. Uh, fifth edition still kind of has, like... It's e it's still easier to do on a battle map. But I think you could probably do it narratively easier than you could in fourth. Oh, so we did a, uh, a one-shot where uh, Riley ran us as a, like, level 15 and in 5th edition. And, uh, what is it? He wanted me to be a polearm paladin. And okay. I'm like, all right, I, I, I guess. And so I, <laughs> I'm going through the, the DMs guy to try to find some magic items for a 15th level polearm paladin and uh you know he he lets me bend the rules a little bit because there's really nothing um yeah, i don't like that emil burton i'm gonna send him some love all right Ooh, bracketed him I'll take that at that range. Jeez. Um, so, not knowing anything about playing Paladins, I decided to use all my spell slots for Smite. Because then I don't have to worry about spells. Because, more or less, I agree right. with you. Spells are a pain in the ass. Um, well, then I realize I have one spell... Haste. And it lets me double my actions in a round. And I'm like, oh shit. I can double up on my smite. So I cast haste on myself, and then the next round just became like this monster of smiting. Ooh, ooh, is he gonna run aground? Is he gonna run aground? Oh, nope, he's dead. I don't like this Katowski over there. I'm gonna send some uh, send some hate his way. There's some uh, Torps heading his way. Yeah, they're gonna mess. Enemy destroyer sighted. But I did something like 150 damage to something that was a challenge rating five higher than what our party was. It's just like, oh, haste is fun. Oh, yeah. And that was about the only spell I cast the whole time, other than, you know, just burning off smites. It's very like, rare when, when I'll do stuff as my ranger uh, spell casting. I pretty much only use it 
if like another character drastically needs it, like right, all right, like, I'll I, I'll use Goodberry because that's like some free sensu beans. Yeah, yeah, I'll use I'll use the the cure wound stuff uh, when someone drastically needs it. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure that it just takes like a certain mindset to be able to be a spellcaster in D and D. Yeah. Well. Yeah, that, and I think that's why, though, I ended up looking at other game systems on my own when I was going to go run stuff and why yeah. I ended up with, like, Open Legend for a while. Uh, plus, Open Legend did some of the, like, it kept some of the defenses that was in 4th edition that I liked. So instead of just being armor class, you know, you had your your guard, your resolve, and, and whatnot for the different, uh, instead of having all the saving throws, which I like that as well. Yeah. Man, everyone is so far away from me. Everyone really pushed south here. I'm going to let loose a volley and then I'm going to turn out. I got to get further north. If I keep going the way I'm going, I'm just going to be right in the middle of the entire enemy team. Yeah, that's fair. I'm just camping the point. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just sit tight there. You got islands for cover. Fire alarm. You let me know who you need shot, and I'll send some hate their way. Oh, I don't even know who I need shot. I don't like where that Emil is compared to you, though. Or that uh, yeah, I can't, I can't send... your way. The like suggestion for shooting torpedoes is to hit the island I'm next to, and that's not going to work. Oh, what about that guy? Which guy? I mean, oh, the, the Agano. He's shooting at you. I thought he was yeah, sending that my way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like he did too. That or you were the one spotting him. Yeah, I only saw him briefly. I think he must pop smoke. That means I need to move because he probably dropped the torps. At that range? Uh, I guess it's possible. You can back up within your smoke cloud if you. Is he still shooting you? Yeah, I just left my my smoke. I need to I need to go. Oh no. Yeah, I'm probably not going to survive. Yeah, you got two cruisers on you right now. I can't shoot them both. It's all right. Ooh, Citadel, that Katowski. Someone took out the Fuso. That's good. So we got a bunch of cruisers down here and a battleship way far south. Ooh, yep, there's those torps coming that you expected. Oh, crap. Oh! Nice! Barely. Nice. Why is my little voice dude warning me of torpedoes to port when they're going completely the other way from me? Because he can see them. If I can take out the DeGrasse. Fire alarm. That was Yay. a kill steal. He only had 800 health left. Well, that Cavor's just coming right up our line, isn't he? Texas looks to be in a bad way. Problem solved, sir. Did you get the cap on this? 
Uh, I did. Nice. There's some points. Yep, there goes our taxes. All right, I'm gonna leave the this zone. Yeah, yeah. Push north and uh, east a little bit. I'm burning. My heels are recharging. Oh, shiitake mushrooms, torpedoes. Oh, good. I naturally dodged them without doing anything. Torpedoes to tort. <laughs> Oh, we got a Fubuki up there jacking with you. Yeah, he's got me. Why didn't you say something sooner? Ah, it wouldn't have mattered. I still could have thrown some hate his way. Distracted him, pissed him off. I'm just trying to warm up. Get, uh, get my sea legs back on. Fair enough. Oh, wow. Okay, well, uh, apparently our team threw this match. Oh, yeah. You and I are going to be the high scorers. <laughs> like, we came down and capped D. No one managed to cap A. Like, they annihilated our half of the team that went to A and then took it. And then while we dinked around with the people on the outskirts of D... They just moved in towards C. Seriously. That poor Renown is up there going, Why? Let's see what I can do with this Cavor. Say, nope, nope, wait. I can throw some hate your way. The Minikaze is coming for you. Yeah, let him. I'll be dead before he gets here. Uh, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Well played, Agano. Ninja vanish. Right? Oh. Ooh, nice. He was he waited until he would have a good shot. He did not rush his torps. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and compliment him. That was some patient some patient work on his part. Zulu Dawn. Well, you did well on the team. I I did about normal. I was lower end of mid. Yeah, that's mid. That's mid. Twelve uh twelve you were in the middle four. <laughs> you got like all the cap points for our team, I'm sure. What's your detailed report site? Well, hold on. Um, I did no damage. I didn't hit anyone. Capture uh, points. You capture got... points. Thirty-four out of sixty-one. Yeah, that's solid. That was all I did, and then I took damage. <laughs> Whatever, that's fine. At least, I, at least I played the objective. Yeah, no, that's so, so that, many team-based FPSs I play, and like no one else freaking plays the objective. 